Thanks, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Yes, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Just a minute, Jimmy. I'll phone you when I get out to this evening, Chief. And don't call me Chief. Have you got any ideas, Chief? You're supposed to be a reporter. You get the ideas, and don't call me Chief. Sure good to see you again, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Gosh, Chief. Don't call me... Well, all right, James. This is one time you may call me Chief. <laughs> Hey there. Hey now. What's going on? Um, Rob here, as per usual. Welcome to the UK's number one dying podcast. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm here licking my wounds. Bombed last night. Had a big gig. That, uh... Had uh, a lot of um, big comedians on it. And old Chief Rooney ate a big bag of dicks. So, my career is over. And this podcast is the only thing I have left. This is my ticket to the moon. Um, but anyway, uh, this uh, this week's episode is fantastic. It's one of, the, one of my favorite episodes that I've uh, ever recorded. And that's... And I'm including Big Mike and the Chief in that. Um, uh, I'm joined by uh, Hamish Shepherd, um, as per usual, and then uh, our guest is uh, Luke Chilton, who is um, hilarious. He's such a, such a funny guy. And um, go follow him on uh, Instagram or wherever. And um, yeah, so I really hope you. Enjoy uh, this episode uh, as much as I did. Um, the usual YouTube, Spotify, do all that stuff, and the Patreon for uh, extra episode. This week's extra episode of Luke is hilarious, and um, it's to so much so that I wanted to almost release the whole episode to the public, um, and then do another Patreon, but. Um, I thought no, it'll go on the Patreon, um, and then also I've started doing um, a, s- a short solo app every week on the Patreon, and then of course there's all the other Patreon episodes, uh, and then a bunch of Big Mike and the Chief stuff as well on there. So uh, if that tickles your fancy, please do sign up. And uh, of uh, as usual, thank you to the current Patreons or patrons. I don't know what the fuck the right word is. Um, for uh, for their support. Uh, anyway, guys, so on to the episode. Uh, thank you. I love you. Till next week. Bye, 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 bye. Right, we're starting. <laughs> that we're just talking about getting fat. Yeah. Um, I uh, I'm gonna introduce everyone later on when I do it myself. It's just weird if I'm. What if you do it? Oh, Luke Chilton's <laughs> here, and uh, <laughs> if I do it like an actual <laughs> podcast. But, yeah. Um. Oh, Why yeah. do you struggle with that? Isn't that what? the easiest bit? What? Introducing. You just have to say their name. Yeah, I could do that. I think you yeah. can do this. Okay. You think I can? Okay. Wait, otherwise, what? Yeah. You edit it in later? Yeah, I kind of do it, and then I kind of do like a little hello to the five people that are still listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone probably just fast forwards that shit. And oh, but you do put it at the front. You I do put, put it at the end. front. I don't put it at the oh, end. Oh, by the way, like, that yeah. was By the way, that was Luke <laughs> Chilton. I probably should have introduced them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Luke Chilton's here. Hey, there he is, right there, side yeah, of his yeah. Hamish yeah. Shepherds, Zeke Highland, <laughs> right from the start. Fuck. That's good. I panicked. I'm so we can um, blow that. I'll blow it. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you. I'll, um, I'll give you a proper. The thumb. It doesn't count if the thumbs. Yeah, if the thumbs Open out. Thumbs yeah, is cool. This is uh, this is uh, we're taking it back. Yeah, yeah. That's something completely <laughs> different. You think you know in, in in the army where they have like people that inspect like uniforms. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Do you think they, they had that when they, they inspected like their, their Zeke Hiles? You know yeah, I mean? oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's had, like, stickers a, for <laughs> Make sure <laughs> like, that it uh, gets a level. And Adolf yeah. sticker. But the, they, like, they got like a protractor out. It's just like, <laughs> nine is a bit, <laughs> yeah. a bit more. Someone had a bit about um, at what point does it... Do well, you know when are you in danger? I was just thinking that, yeah. Because, I mean, we're in danger right now just <laughs> yeah. doing this. Yeah. But... But this is, is fine. It's got to be your left hand as well. It's is your left. It, is it is your left or right? 
one of them because there was that oh. footballer who did it, and right. then everyone was like, "Oh, you piece of shit!" And he's like, "Actually, yeah, yeah, that's I did like, it with the wrong hand." That's ah. like when people draw the swastika backwards, and they're like, "Actually, it's an Indian symbol." It's <laughs> yeah. like, no, actually, it's you know what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> like it's like it's like Isn't no, it? actually, there's yeah, because I I lived in uh, Germany for a while, and obviously there it's like it's no fun. You can't see Kyle. Yeah, you can't draw swastikas. Anywhere. They don't find Nazis funny. They don't yeah. find Nazis funny. I don't know why. You what catch happened. a train though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. Great trains. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Germans really have. They no didn't forget sense about of that, humor, do they? No, they don't. And so it's illegal to do that. But I had a friend who was uh, a Jew. I mean, yeah. he's, he's still alive. He didn't die. Is he still the, Jew? Uh, he's still a Jew, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he'd um, when it snowed, he'd run around and draw swastikas like. Oh wow! Naughty on boy. on the cars, and yeah. Stuff. And you're like, "What are they going to do? I'm a Jew." Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't <laughs> you could draw one in that. Don't put me in jail. Yeah, yeah exactly. Do you, I think George left it. one in his uh, skin in flex. His skin <laughs> flex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the worst. Cereal. That is so unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, I mean, poor George. I watched them. Um, do you know the Jill Dando thing? Who's Jill Dando? Oh, I thought you'd. Are you from London? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know everyone. I don't believe though. you. What? What she's a, com- she's a comedian. No, she's not a comedian. She's a she wor- She was a journalist, and she did um, like what was Crime Watch or whatever. Yeah, and uh, she got shot on her doorstep. What? What? This is in like the two thousands. Yeah, there's a thing on Netflix called Who Shot Jill Dando. Yeah, <laughs> and I was there expecting it to be George Wheeler. Of all, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> um, she did a whole expose about his skin. It was it was bad crime watch this man has too much skin he has too much he does he just has an excess how much of skin. is enough yeah well yeah what happens if it just all flakes off huh like what what's underneath all the fl- like but, it, but is it, it, is, 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 that's what it is it's just well, growing more skin. skin yeah it's the opposite of eczema mm, but it right. looks the same wait eczema is not enough skin eczema is not enough skin as far as I understand. Wow. I mean, I'm look, I'm not a doctor. So look at you're us. Not hanging, you're not a skin, doctor. All yeah. us. You can say that yeah. about us. What? The perfect amount of skin. Our skin's fine. Yeah. 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 Our Most skin's of my okay. skin's fine. Why, where, where's your I skin? I get back? psoriasis on my dick. Just your dick? Hey, Just now. My dick. Yeah. So you Did get, you fuck George? So, oh, it's too much, <laughs> so is, is it too much skin, not enough dick? Or is it because Dude, you have... I have <laughs> so much foreskin. <laughs> right. Yes, so much. Just get, it, just get circumcised. Well, no, it's, it's, it's underneath the... It's the bit you can't cut off. What's... Oh, I beg to differ. No. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner would beg to differ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wow. But, uh, but maybe it's because of the irritation from the the foury. <laughs> For the foreskin. The foury. <laughs> so it was a protest. You've, uh... You have no foreskin? Are you a... No, I have a foreskin. Australians keep foreskin. I don't have a, um... Uh, what's it called? The banjo string thing. What? Why? That removed, yeah. You had to. Yeah, because it was too tight. Oh. So what? How does that work then? Uh, what do you mean? How does it work? Because <laughs> the banjo string is kind of keeping everything. It ties the room together. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so how is oh, your <laughs> My room's a mess. <laughs> 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 Listen to Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Tidy up your room. Clean up your banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't clean my room anymore. You gotta keep a neat banjo. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you know you've no banjo. Frenulum. Frenulum. Fren- frenulectomy. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, it's yeah. It's well, It was just. It was getting. It was just getting like cut because it was so tight. Yeah. This is a common issue. This yeah. Yeah. Happen- I've known a few friends who that they've had that and it, it's like, putwing. Yeah. Yeah. Gone, so right? so then how does mine your, didn't um, actually snap, but it yeah. was annoying enough and it was just getting worse. So I'm like, just just get rid of it. It was like yeah. painful. Um, yeah, it was painful. It was very yeah. painful. It was like t- getting to the point where I couldn't have sex anymore. Oof. Whoa. Yeah, because of get, I was getting so fat. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your yeah. mother was heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, um, but, uh... So how was George too gross on this podcast? I know. I know. This and is the first time I brought up my People people are probably listening, <laughs> being like, fine, I don't know George. And then we're just sitting here talking about how gross he is. Like, even when he's not here, he's gross. Yeah. Yeah. We, haven't, we haven't been graphic about it. It's not that graphic. No. It's, it's medical. It's, what we're yeah, talking it's medical about, yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So you have psoriasis. I have psoriasis. Of yeah. the shaft. Although it's... No, it's not on the shaft. It's underneath the um, the foreskin. It's hidden. It's my little secret. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So can but you just kind of like put a rubber band around it and hide it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, like you can't really see it. It's not like... Because there's also it's different skin. So it doesn't look like... You know how psoriasis looks like fucking scabs? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like that. Right. Why, looks, why don't you just get it? It looks like smooth and shiny. So oh, it's so it's, like, a, it's, it's not, like a trophy. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, kind of, it's kind of <laughs> impressive. <laughs> it looks like it's been polished. It's nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's nice. And then it's got a slight. I I think it's it's like having a naturally ribbed penis. So I think it's an advantage. Okay. Yeah. yeah I can see that. But why don't you mm. just get a You're like, babe, my psoriasis is flaring up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not on the foreskin. It's underneath. It's on the gl- the glands. The glands. The good part. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. The... yeah. That's why I don't want to cut that bit off. Yeah. Oh, it's on your like your helmet. Underneath it. You know when you right. pull down the foreskin? Yeah. It's uh, just, that's where. I think the we're foreskin need, is, is lovely. I think we're going to need to see this to yeah. kind of get a full understanding right, of what's... That, that sounds... Yeah. We're going to have to compare... Huh? Yeah. We're going to have to compare penises. Well, I got... Yeah, no, I got circumcised when I was... I got an adult circumcision. Adult? Oh. Just, it was adult it's with shocking me. Yeah. AIDS. It was, yeah, no. <laughs> it was... Um, well, I remember when I was very young. Yeah. I had a very tight foreskin. Yeah. And uh, I remember my mom brought me to see a doctor, right? I swear to God. What happened was they just took me in to see this doctor and then I lay down. He's like, all right, get it out. I was maybe like 10. Right. And what he literally did was just like, you just got my dick and then you just looked at it. And then he just literally just went like, <laughs> and then just <laughs> pulled it down. Like he just reefed it down. Uh. And I was like, ah! And he was like, there you go. Problem solved. See, Wait, most, what? Most, most guys just, like, yeah. stretched it out. He literally just went, and just oh. pulled it down. Did it feel good? Huh? Feel good? I mean, I was like, I'm gay now. <laughs> yeah, that's when I knew. That's when I knew. But then what happened was it was fine then throughout, what, up until I was like in my mid-20s. And then I started doing jiu-jitsu and stuff. Oh. Like for hours a day. Yeah. And it was just in this like damp, moist environment. Yeah. And I got like... I don't know what it's called. It's like some inflammation thing. And it was, just wouldn't go away. And I wouldn't stop training. An erection. I just, yeah, I got an erection. Some sort yeah. of inflammation in my penis. <laughs> Listen, I want it to be held. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drain it. <laughs> yeah, the doctor, you go to the doctor. The, the doctor can, can, you do, can you do the old, you know, the, the, you know, the, the doctor's special? You just ask for the same thing again. You're like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like a Victorian woman. Yeah, like yeah. Hysteria <laughs> going in. <laughs> The, the Dogs are I'm hysterical, <laughs> <laughs> plagued with inflammation of the nether regions. <laughs> but the idea of going to a doctor and being like, I've got this problem. Anytime I do jujitsu and I roll around with men, I'm getting an erection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? Oh He's my like, God, you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta get this boy in quarantine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you may just, never wrestle again. <laughs> yeah, it calls the But, I, but that must be a nightmare because I, I did jujitsu and there were like some I women. you did, yeah. There were some women there and yeah. it, it was. Uh, I mean, it was tough because they were hot in mm. shape, and I was like, I don't really want to do this because it's very the rousing. The cup, yeah, you have a cup. <laughs> you don't roll with a cup. No, yeah. I've, I've it's free rolling. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's obvious. This is my protein <laughs> shake. <laughs> you have a cup of jizz. Just yeah, how else are you, you going to get muscly? <laughs> yeah, but uh, but, but no, you must just be bonus city then, because that's no, like I was hot. Concentrating on the. Uh, on the art form yeah, yeah you're jiu-jitsu. putting in the wank bank right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am, I, am. Yeah. I mean but that's why I didn't uh, it's funny it's I didn't. sensual martial art it is very sensual yeah it is I was trying to get my dad to do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah just because you know we'd probably get closer you know yeah. it'd be good to be held by him oh, yeah. yeah you know well he Chokes you unconscious. He chokes me unconscious. I mean, now we're getting sexual. Well, how different is that to being read a bedtime <laughs> story, really? <laughs> being throttled into oblivion by yeah. my father. Yeah, I mean, I did like the idea of it. Like, he was like, no, no, no. But even like when I was in that gym, I didn't tell anyone I was gay because yeah. I just be weird. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone really comes out and. In Jeez. martial arts, no. No. I think they should. I'd love to see a gay UFC I, fight. I would like a gay UFC fighter. Because I think also it would be... A lot of those guys are pretty homophobic. And it would be an advantage, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, it would. Like, like, you're just on top of them. And you're like, I'm having a great time. Yeah, like, you know, you have like, to fight. What? You, have you to just fight. choke the fuck out of him. Yeah. If you have to fight, like, a wrestler. Yeah. Like, Islam, Makachev or oh, something. Oh, yeah, he's going to hate Habib, that shit. Just be like, yeah, I'm gay. Yeah. And he'd so be if like, you Whoop. wrestle me... You're gay. Yeah. I'm going to get <laughs> yeah, hurt. Yeah, he's forced yeah. to stand and bang with you. <laughs> yeah. And you just fucking knock him out. Exactly. Exactly. That's, That's the game that Conor McGregor, McGregor missed do. out on. Yeah. yeah. Just be like, I'm gay. I'm gay. And no one will want to wrestle you. Yeah. Um, what, you said something there? Is there no openly gay? No one? openly gay. Well, but some guy did an expose. Yeah. There's a trans, Fallon <laughs> Fox. Fallon Fox. And yeah. crushed a woman's skull. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Amen to that. I'll drink to that. Um... 
But uh, <laughs> you feel like that, that was like the worst bit of PR that could have happened for trans people. For trans people getting yeah. into sport, yeah. it was right at the height of the thing, and they were like, <laughs> "Yeah, no, 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 it's fair." And they were like, "Ah." Fuck, Fallon. Yeah, <laughs> really? because it, no, the it, worst PR is the penis removal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, there we go. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, she yeah. related to Jimmy Fallon? No, uh, yeah, yeah. it is Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. dead name Jimmy because <laughs> what dead name Stop Jimmy dead Fallon. Naming Fox. I've never seen um, Fallon Fox and Jimmy Fallon in the same room. Oh yeah, there's a reason for that. Why did I say Jimmy Fallon? Because it's this. I thought for some, and I got yeah. mixed up there, but I am. Um, but some person did a uh, an expose about John Jones being gay. Did you see this? Oh no! Yeah, oh, that'd yeah. Be a John Jones, who blocked me on Instagram because really? I made a joke about sucked him. his dick and I told his everyone dick. about it. <laughs> I told everyone about it. Yeah. Um, no, he blocked me on Instagram because uh, you you follow him, mate, don't you? John Jones, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. So um, he got done for like uh, taking steroids or whatever. Yeah. But he moved up to heavyweight, so he got really fat. He bulked up. And then there's a story about him hiding from drug testers in his gym underneath the oh, octagon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this story. So I made a joke when he, when he was bulking up. He po- posted a photo on Instagram of him, like, bulking up. And uh, I left a comment being like, oh, don't get too big. You won't be able to hide under the fit under the octagon or whatever. And then he just blocked me. But before he blocked me, he left, like, a comment on one of my video- stand-up videos being like, oh, look at this. It's always some comedian, like in quotation marks. He's like, I look forward to seeing you at Madison Square Garden or whatever. Uh, and, I fu- and then when I saw that he was gay, I was like, oh, it all yeah. makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently he is gay. So yeah. But how did they, document. so what was the evidence? Like, um, <laughs> they got a video of him fucking a man in the ass. Really? No, 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 no. That's pretty strong. It's such a weird yeah. thing to do an expose. I know. It's kind of like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean it is. Yeah. But because it's John Jones. Look what like, I yeah. found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look who's gay. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost, yeah. That's like very like. Um, I think it's best. I think that's great. That the best fighter in the world is gay. That's gonna cause a lot of identity issues for like the, the homophobic men. <laughs> contingency yeah. of the MMA community. Well, I think the evidence was that he was at a comedy show and yeah. he started heckling this comedian or whatever, and uh, he was with a dude. And yeah. he didn't know that the show was being recorded or whatever. And he kept making these, alluding to, you know, this thing that this guy was his boyfriend or whatever. Yeah. And then there's all these these other little things that, uh, or whatever. And then he's also like very homophobic himself. Yeah. But um, I love how we went, somehow we went from Jill Dando to uh, yeah. John Jones uh, being uh, homophobic. It was funny, <laughs> MM Gay, there we go. Yeah, that's it. But um, I uh, mixed... Marvelous men's assholes. What? MMA. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know. That was a fucking stretch. I thought that was like the marvelous miss. <laughs> the marvelous marvelous miss alternative table. universe. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I well, don't know. That's not how I remember that story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh, Jill, Jill Dando. Yeah. Go back to Jill Dando. She's dead. She's dead. Jill Dando's dead. In the shot. gun attack. She. So she was a journalist, and then she just got shot on her doorstep to death. To death. Just one in the head. Oh, wow. and uh, I just watched this thing on Netflix about it, and mm. uh, it was. Uh, did she? Just run apart. Did anyway. she expose someone huh? for being gay? Like, what was she? Journalized? Yeah, she tried to expose John Jones as being gay. Right. John yeah. Jones shot her in the head. <laughs> shot her in the head. For <laughs> calling him gay. <laughs> yeah. No, this was back in the early two thousands, <laughs> and uh, then there was a conspiracy that it was the uh, the Serbians. Oh yeah, because she was a uh, she was. Do reporting on the war crimes over there. Yeah, yeah. And then there's also this theory that she was about to expose Jimmy Savile, so the BBC had her killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I don't even know why I brought this up, to be honest with you. I just watched it last night, so I was like, oh, oh sounds like a good watch. BBC. Yeah, it's a great watch. BBC putting out hits on people. Yeah. yeah it's just that, like, who do they get? To, to uh, yeah. get like, like, do they get, like... David Attenborough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. They just shot a fucking some poor white woman. It would be Bear Grylls, actually. Yeah. What? That is he a BBC guy? Or is he I was trying 4? to think, because I don't watch 4. enough... I don't know if enough British TV to have the references. I was yeah. trying to think of, like... Is it you know who Jimmy Savile is, though. Yeah, of course. Savile, yeah. He's well, he's the they goat. wouldn't get him to do the hit. <laughs> what? They wouldn't get him to do the hit. No, no. That'd be too... No. Way too obvious. Yeah. He's a... Uh, my mom is a is a, a nurse. <laughs> yes, and uh, <laughs> that's she remembers Jimmy. Sa- that's it. She remembers Jimmy Savile uh, coming to the hospital when she was working there. Yeah, and she and he oh. would be going around and you know what I mean. 
fiddling. And not fiddling, no, but he was like, comes to the hospital and like, oh, Jimmy Savile. Uh, but no one knew back then. Did she like him? Was hmm? he, Did she like him? Was she, she like a charming she, guy? She liked, uh, no, I think she got a vibe. Got creep. It mm. seems to be everyone who meets him. Seem, had, yeah, I feel like it's crawly. like a yeah. feeling a about it. That's what everyone just says when it comes out, though. They're like, yeah, I yeah. always knew, but at the time, that she was probably yeah. like, Did you oh hear about that? Were you guys on the scene when Eamon Goodfellow got uh, discovered for being like, a no, pri- like a turbo pedo, like a really bad one. What's a turbo pedo now? Well, like the high, high up in the hierarchy of right. Okay, you know, it's not just sure. passively getting child porn. He was making original. He was content. harvesting yeah. original. It was like the Netflix. Oh, of yeah, <laughs> like he was. Porn. He was getting. He was paying people to get kids. Nice. Then filming them, and then and then distributing it on the thing. And he was just on the stand up scene for like while wow. he was on trial. Yeah, and just oh, doing comedy and shit. This. Yeah, yeah, and he had a poster that was called. Uh, it was his face going like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the title was humor trafficking. <laughs> oh my god! He, oh so he my knew he was going god. down. Oh, <laughs> and Jesus! He, I had no like. I was just like, this is just a regular middle aged man. Like, yeah, didn't even do filthy jokes. This is the thing. It's always no, it's, the, that's, that wonder, freaked the fuck out of me. I wonder yeah. what well, makes I more money. So that's the thing. Because someone accused. Because I have a fair amount of pedophile jokes in my act. Yeah. yeah. And someone was saying to me, he's like, you know, we're probably going to find out one day that you're a pedo. That's what. That's how it works. Because he's like, yeah. I, I drink about. I talk about drinking and drugs on stage, and I used to do drinking and drugs. So that means you're a pedophile. <laughs> like that was his oh rationale. No, nah, I always find it's the other I'm way like, around. Yeah. It's like always like children's entertainers yeah. who are super clean. I'm the furthest thing yeah. from yeah. a pedophile. Yeah. It's, it's always the opposite way around. Yeah. yeah. It's like I all mean, the guys who are shitbags on stage always like give all their money to the charity and mm. shit. You know? Because yeah, if you were a pedo, you wouldn't want to even chance saying that no. you're a pedo. Yeah. On stage. But you'd want to be in a job where Thanks you had for access that. to children. Yeah, I'm just yeah. backing yeah. off yeah. 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 You better not be a pedo. We've come out <laughs> hard on your yeah, side. I, I better not. Yeah. yeah Free Hamish to. Shepherd. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is your real name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fake mustache. Yeah, I don't want to go back to Australia and find out. Oh, fuck. It's the reason he left. Oh. I remember you, you were talking on stage about at some uh, competition thing. You've OCD, do you? Oh, no. ne- n- n- never no. formally diagnosed but with OCD. But you think you have it. Well, no, I was told I had intrusive thoughts by a doctor, which right. later... Is, that's what you that's were talking about. That's the pure about. OCD thing, right? Yes. But they put it like intrusive thoughts. Yes. They didn't say OCD. Yes, yeah, so you don't have any other kind of... Official um, diagnosis. Official diagnosis of. Mm, I I was diagnosed as psychotic for a short period of time. Really? Yeah. But I just firmed that. <laughs> I, well, I think they do I throw shit around, like that around too much. Yeah, yeah. It's no, like, this was legit. I was? I was, yeah, I was, it was a problem. Oh, but wow. I, but it was like it was like drug induced, so not right. Like, um, okay, okay. It wasn't like this is me being me. So are you sober right. now? Uh, no, I don't drink, but I take drugs. Nice. Okay, that's the Good. wise choice. I, I think, think so. Yeah. yeah. Why well, take all the one? But that's more like just the hangovers got so bad. So right. now I just take hallucinogenics because right, I'm okay. fine and happy after. Which is right. probably the wisest thing to do after you've had a s- yeah, I think psychotic so. brain. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm strong, you know? Yeah, Because psychosis strong-minded. is like, oh, I've pushed it. I've laid a foundation of mental strength. I suppose once you... And now if I'm tripping balls and having a horrible time, I'm like, this is nothing. This is nothing compared this is nothing. to... Yeah. How long did the psychosis last? Uh, it was a few months, but the whole, the, most of the thing was just I thought I had herpes. Okay. Which is like, it just turns out it so was it's like uh, psoriasis. Just psoriasis. <laughs> you, were t- <laughs> you were talking to your herpes? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it kind of was like that. And I was like yelling at... I was going to lots of doctors being like, sort this shit out. And they're yeah. like, your penis is fine. fine. So the, and yeah. I was like, you fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. You're with them. Yeah. You're, you don't want me to have herpes. Yeah, so yeah. I saw that they have service dogs for people with psychosis now. Where they do they? they? The dog will... If they're talking to someone that's not there, they go, is this person real? And well, the, the dog dog's like, bark. no, yeah, but exactly. I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's more that's confusing. Uh, that seems like more of a head fuck. To exactly. Me. <laughs> that's what I've. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. Service. So dog. the dog is trained to bark if there's a person there. Yeah, yeah. It's like, is there a person there? And then, but I'm like, how do you know the dog's real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God, idea. you could really fuck with Just someone. Dragging yeah. a dead that. dog with you. Yeah. <laughs> Is he real? Yeah. I think my dog's <laughs> put on weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very yeah. hard to walk. <laughs> so did you have to like go into like a hospital or anything? Yeah, well, I I went into hospital. 
Well, the reason I, oh, this is I'm gonna have to go in the whole thing. The reason I have psoriasis is because yeah. I was putting like creams on my dick. Right. Because I thought I had herpes. Right. Which I didn't. So then I fucked up the natural flow. Flow of things. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got really bad thrush, and like it was so bad that then I was left with psoriasis. Yeah. 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 This is the up. most mild psychosis I've ever. Like this is yeah. like, yeah. like it's yeah. like, it's, like, it's like the <laughs> lowest stakes. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> it's well, it's embarrassing though because <laughs> I did quite serious damage to my dick. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, so that's how this that's how it all started. Well, that that was why. So they were going to section me because they're like, you keep fucking up your dick. Wow. Oh really? Um, and then. Uh, I went to A and E because my dick was so bad, and then when I was in A and E, uh, this guy was like, "Who I thought this guy was a dick doctor." It turned out he was a psychologist, <laughs> and he was like then interviewing me for whether I should wow. get sectioned or not. Right. And then, uh, they put me on psychosis prevention or whatever because they were like, "It's not, we're not worried you're gonna fuck yourself up too bad." Right. They had and to then, put like a cage around. Do you your think you would have yeah. eventually? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of those cones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, <laughs> dog, yeah. ah you fuckers, <laughs> let me at it. But uh, would you have cut it off eventually if you think if you kept going down? That I road? don't know, maybe. Like well, that guy from is it Wu Tang Clan or whatever? He cut his dick off. Yeah, he cut half of it off or something. Because he's it? like he he convinced himself. I think he had a psychosis. He convinced himself that all his problems were because of his dick. Oh man! Of, like his family problems and all this stuff. So he's like, I'm just gonna cut off my dick so I stop cheating. Well, on my how wife progressive! Yeah, yeah. And uh, apparently, it still works. Whole, yeah. He cut off his whole dick, or I think he cut it partially, and they probably re. Like I don't know exactly a what it is. Destructive thing. Yeah, done. there's like, the, but I think I don't think he has. I don't think he has the helmet anymore. Oh, that's right. the, the best part. Yeah. yeah. Was his wife grateful for part. his? Um, she better be. Yeah. Yeah. But he's black, right? He's yes. He's <laughs> now he just has an o- average sized penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bastards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that that thing with the so you went you you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, but you were you went into a hospital, did you? No, I never no. went into a hospital. Right. I had like a, so the prevention team was like I had to go to them for a week, but yeah. it was like they monitored you. Right, okay. Than, like I was never kept an eye on your dick. Section. They're like, keep yeah, an eye on your dick. Stop putting shit on your dick. Yeah, I mean, I should, I should <laughs> yeah. take, yeah. I should take that <laughs> yeah. lesson as well, you know. Um, but uh, I, uh, you know, because I, I wasn't sections, but I was. Um, honestly, that that reminds me of uh, there's a friend of ours who will remain unnamed, George Wheeler. George Wheeler. Let's just say it's George Wheeler, but it's not. He has a story about um, he's Muslim and yeah. he's uh, obviously they get circumcised, and uh, he was saying that this is how he got circumcised. I thought mine was bad. He uh, uh, so he got it done when he was like a kid, like four, five, six, and the only memory he has of like uh, the circumcision is that um, which is all of his family and stuff came around to the house. Oh no! And then like the imam, yeah, the, is that like the their version of a bishop or a priest or whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is came that like home. an eagle, but it's like his mum. The what? Like, oh, e- the imam. <laughs> <laughs> Trying some Islam friendly wordplay. Yeah, yeah. There's not many uh, Islam yeah. friendly wordplays, but that yeah. is one of them. And um, and then this imam came over, and then they did his brother first. Yeah. And you could just hear him in the other room, he's like ah. Yeah. It- and then. Uh, and then um fucking and then it was his turn and then just like they like gave him a game boy like, okay play this <laughs> yeah no anesthetic no uh, pain relief or whatever they tried to distract him with fucking mario with, like, with the mario yeah <laughs> and then they just fucking went like whoosh, what did they use because it's like a fucking like a it's called the, 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 the guy from the prince of persia has like a big fucking a scimitar a scimitar i think well, yeah, yeah. sword yeah scimitar to be fair i would want if they were bringing that out i'd be like you'll need that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> if i was him i would have been trying to because i remember going into like because jews use the fucking fingernail like the what? the orthodox traditional things like a, oh. a fingernail which is i thought that was for doing coke no 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you celebrate <laughs> Using your foreskin cutter wrong, man. <laughs> oh man, they use their fingernail. Yeah, like I, I think it's like a metal thing they put on, like a you know, like a Chinese. Oh, it's like uh, it's like warlord. a goth. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might be wrong. It might like just be the ring. natural thing, but the, but I, I don't think that's like now the recommended way to do it. No, I think I think, think like medicine has advanced. Old I mean, God recommends it. Yeah. Like Judaism has advanced. Using fingernails, I mean, yeah. yeah. This okay. doesn't, it doesn't count if it wasn't a fingernail. <laughs> Why do you think yeah. I gave you those? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> 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 but um, what other possible use? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my my Jewish friends were telling me that. Uh, 
So how did Christians avoid the circumcision? Because they're in between Muslims and Jews in like chronology, right? So how did they avoid? How the did they avoid thing? it? Yeah. Uh, they just, they just thought about insane. it for a second, and they were like, like yeah. no, I don't want to." Jesus said, "No." <laughs> yeah, Jesus said, uh, "Was Jesus circumcised?" Um, he was Jewish. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, it would have been. Imagine getting circumcised back then. Ugh. I remember seeing some documentary or something. On, Most uh, of them would have got YouTube. Infected. Lose your dick. Where's some yeah. tribe in Africa where it's become a man? You're like 13, and they send you off into the desert with like a knife and a tent or whatever, and you have to circumcise yourself and then come oh, back. Oh, rubbish. I just I come back with like a piece of meat and be like yeah. I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't ask. I'll just to be see telling it. everyone, you know, the foreskins I write at the bottom, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, am I the only guy in the village with a dick? Yeah, <laughs> oh. but um, yeah, like that was uh, but they, then the, my Jewish friends tell me that they're all and they don't do this anymore because yeah. it's frowned upon. Where they used to children. Yeah. Anyway, I um, at the Jewish when they. The kid got circumcised to, at the bris. The, the bris. The, I think that was the name of the ceremony where they. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the rabbi would go and he'd suck the mm. blood out of the baby's dick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that should be frowned upon. Should be frowned upon. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I'd say most rabbis were acting in good faith. Yeah. Like, hey, listen, I'm just doing what it says in the book. Yeah, yeah. But you yeah. know, a few a few slip through that, the cracks. It says now. that in the book. It, it definitely I doesn't say that. There's it the, definitely there's a, they, they're interpreting. There's like this. Basically, the whole book is a metaphor for us blowing kids. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm gonna see some like post-it note, read that, yeah. edit it. Like, yeah, yeah. This highlighted is in Jimmy's handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing. I did try to. I, I was thinking if they put in the Ten Commandments. They were shouting off fuck kids in the ass. Yeah. Would less priests have fucked kids in the ass? They're right. like, I don't want, I want to stick to the. Uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the 10 OG rules. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, he missed a trick there. Yeah. LJC, uh, <laughs> GZC. But um, the same guy. Yeah, that is a glaring uh, omission from the Ten Commandments. Is what? not to fuck it. It's like, don't. Don't be jealous of your neighbor's wife. Yeah. Is it worse this is ox. than fucking a kid? It, is it because it hadn't come up yet? They're like, oh, I didn't even think, think that you guys about were fucking yeah. kids. Yeah. Like, God's not like, are you guys serious? <laughs> but they, but they, why yeah. do they hate? I don't understand why they hate gay people so much. There's nothing in the yeah, Ten Commandments. There's no, no there is that. Yeah, because I read the, the thing is supposedly Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. And they were like two cities full of sin. Right, and God Sounds destroyed hot. them because all they were doing was fucking, like each other fucking and like really, yeah, yeah. But they were doing all sorts of stuff. It's not just like they were being gay. It was like yeah, but they're, they're, they're sinful, pineapple on pizza gross, gross and like fucking... gambling and all this right, stuff. Okay, but then so, there's yeah, like, there, there's with... a passage where <laughs> they say like the angels go undercover to s- check out how bad it is. Right, and then a gang of guys come up and are like, "Hey, we want to rape you." Wow. And then God's well, like, that that's, is too far. And that's not how you rape. <laughs> no, it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Raping effective. is, the, you know, I can't yeah. read the Bible. It needs to be good. The Bible's wild. It's a real page turner. Yeah. But, so but these then guys, God's just like, you can't be raping people. And yeah. Them. But then someone's like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's, but it's because they're gay. Right. It's gay. Rape. Like, well, wait, yeah, what? I suppose rape back then, if it was the other, if it was just man on woman. Yeah. It was probably like, ah, it's fine or whatever. Mm. But, so these guys are basically kind of like Chris Hansen a little bit. Right. Yeah, 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 they're going in, uh, kind of like, yeah, hey, listen, guys, whatever. And then, yeah. why don't you take a seat here? <laughs> Some guy tried to come over and rape him with a knife, and he's like, no, 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 why don't you take a seat there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking all these, cam- but, you, all these- but you've got a, your foreskin removed, but you've kept your banjo string. Yeah. I didn't know. The I banjo thought, string is the most sensitive part of the penis. That's why you, yeah. need, that's why you, you don't said have it, that I was like, are you just fucking with no feeling? That sounds like, yeah, a, like a like, like a, a guitar a, with no strings. I was concerned yeah. about Fucking that. Fucking with while. no feeling. <laughs> but like a funk song. I was I did I was concerned about that yeah. when I first I was like fuck cuz I, I looked on Reddit and yeah. a lot of people there was one guy in particular who was like this was the worst decision I ever made whatever you do do not do this because there's two things you, there's like different procedures. There's yeah. one that completely removes it and there's one that just lengthens it. Yeah. And I thought oh. I was just getting the lengthening one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the guy just cut it off. <laughs> and was, and he just held it up in front of me. He's like, "No, oh, that's your thing." And then, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. You were like, "What?" Yeah, and I was mortified. Yeah, yeah. Um, you get your, it but private? I got over it, huh? Private? Yeah, it's private. You get your money back, <laughs> no? <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't ask. <laughs> hey, put it back on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck it. So, what's it doing over there? Yeah. Um, but, he showed it to you. Yeah, uh-huh. I probably didn't do enough research, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I um. 
I got I got past it, you know. Uh, yeah. But I was concerned. I was like, yeah, what if it's you know? But it's fine. It's the same. It's exactly. It feels, feels exactly, exactly the same. The same. It feels better. It feels yeah. Really? Better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess yours hurt because the pain was so bad before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To have the relief from it, and and apparently, if I'd just done the lengthening one, that can just become the same problem again. That's what they kind of stretch it out. Well, they don't stretch it. They just cut it so that it becomes longer. But then you can just get scar tissue and stuff anyway. Scar tissue. So it's fine. I I did the right thing. I think. Yeah. Um. I think you did. Pretty cool having a scar on your penis. Yeah. Do you have a scar, like a Harry Potter scar down there? Yeah, it's yeah. a zigzag. It's, um, <laughs> it burns when you think of evil things. The yeah. boy yeah. who lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. But yeah, no, they, because, yeah, because that's where the, um, the, the fun bit the is. The fun bit is. Yeah. So, yeah. so you've got rid of your foreskin and you've got the, the string. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think. All like, strings attached. Half yeah. the time when I'm people accusing. get circumcised, they do get that removed. I yeah. I thought it had like to come off. I thought it was part of it. It can. There's it's it's uh, it's more complicated to not remove it. But like back in the day, it was always removed. Well, mm. I remember after I did get the for the circumcision. First of all, my dick looked like an avocado for about a month. Yeah, yeah. like a one that's like ready to eat. Mm. Oh, it was. I was. I was like my. I have a black dick. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I was like, oh, can it stay this size? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um. And then it did look like when it was healing, I think that they did kind of make an incision in the frenulum or whatever. Mm. And then as it was healing, I think it did break off and then it kind of healed back. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah, for a long time. And then it couldn't jerk off for like six weeks. Six yeah. weeks? Brutal, yeah. yeah. Were you, and like, you didn't squeeze one. I, I, I squeezed one out early. Uh, we just like, <laughs> ah! No, like real, just a real. It was so like I was I was so close to... Yeah, to the edge that it was like it was just I barely needed to like blow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like yeah, and I was like, oh. but I regretted it after. I was like, oh, I fucked it. I, I yeah, it. you yeah. put your recovery back oh, when you came blood. Yeah, no, but I, th- it, I didn't think it did because you always you wake up with a boner every morning anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that that's doing more damage than yeah, like because you're fucking because yeah. My my friend like smashed his uh gooch on like a oh. uh, he was on a oh. bike like a pedal bike and he like crashed and then like, I've seen you, you video. slip onto apparently it's a common like <laughs> yeah I've injury and you slip onto the yeah. the bar yeah and then if you smash the gooch that's what's supplying the blood supply so if you leave it it's, it's like bad but off. he he had that thing you had where his dick got really big yeah and he left it for like three weeks or something oh who, and then when he, he went was like to, my prayers have been yeah, answered yeah, yeah. god is real <laughs> uh, but he said it like wouldn't get properly hard but it was like big and like looked great yeah, and yeah. they went to the doctor and they're like if you left this like one day more oh your god. dick would be like we'd have to amputate it <laughs> oh shit am i like but imagine what we got what would be going on instead of like it was his birthday, like, <laughs> yeah, the day before, yeah. and like, as he's blowing out the candles on his cake. Yeah, yeah. For a bigger dick. For a you got a bike for his birthday. Yeah. Your yeah. dick starts getting bigger. Yeah. yeah. God but, um, works in mysterious ways. There is a guy, there's a comedian, I won't name him. I, don't think, I think I've forgotten his fucking name. Anyways, George Wheeler. George Wheeler. Everything is just George <laughs> yeah, Wheeler. Yeah. Yeah. The Muslim George friend, Famous George Wheeler. Gay Muslim, George yeah. Wheeler. <laughs> and, uh... But he's, Not an identifiable guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. But he, uh... This guy, he said he was fucking a girl and he had a, an erection. And then he come and was like holding her. <laughs> yeah. You want to have an erection when you're fucking <laughs> you a woman. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you yeah. say that like you don't know how heterosexual yeah. works. I'm like, he <laughs> and he had an erection. Yeah. And he, it was he didn't have this feeling hole. of disgust. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of hole. Sin yeah. in him. And he was able to do it without picturing a man in his head. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Some sort crazy. of joy and excitement in yeah. his heart. But he was fucking a girl. And he was, and he was like holding her, doing Ooh. that thing. Oh and then no. she like slipped. Ah. And he like sprained his cock. I think ah. it was the, that's, was a, the that's a big fear. I wouldn't that's a big fear. And then I also have a friend who was a skateboarder. Who oh, no. tore his nutsack doing oh. uh, when he fell on the bar thing? Uh. Was, he, was he skating naked? <laughs> 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 he was skating naked over just a uh, uh, like who uh, could have foreseen this happening? <laughs> <laughs> over just broken glass, like. Oh. But, um, but this is funny. Uh, this brings me back quickly to the. Uh, this is just a funny moment, an unexpected funny moment in that Jill Dando thing. <laughs> it all comes, it all comes back to Jill Dando, man. I'm telling you, it all comes back to Jill Dando. But there's That's this guy who was a shit. suspect who lived like two streets away from her, and he mm. was just like a star. He stalked women in the area. Oh no! And uh, he'd like had previous convictions for like rape and stuff. So he was yeah. like and violence towards women. So he was like suspect number one. And they broke into his flat and. Uh, 
there was just like he just shit on his own floor which I have done <laughs> we covered that <laughs> he shit on his own floor Wait, did you kill Jill Dan? I killed Jill Dan though, <laughs> yeah. Jill Dan, though. Yeah. I'm sorry alright um, but uh, but anyway they they found out that they just found this old footage of him where he just randomly was like oh I, I, I'm a stunt man I'm like a, what's the guy who jumped over all the cars in a, on a motorbike Evil Knievel Evil Knievel he tried yeah. to be like Evil Knievel post being uh, convicted for what, rape. but his stomach is just shitting on the floor. Yeah, no, jumping, yeah, jumping, yeah. Over yeah. jumping over his own shit. Jumping over his own shit on a little unicycle. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in a cape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, he never made it. He, had a he few, just <laughs> lands <laughs> facing his shit. He was a convicted capist. But the, <laughs> whoa, whoa, now. But the, <laughs> That's a pun quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. This. But the, um, there's, and then they go, uh, he, he tried to do a stunt where he's trying to like jump over buses on a thing. Yeah. And they just show this video of him. And it just, it just cuts this video of me in an interview by a guy. He's like, you're going to jump over these buses on your bike? And he's like, I am. And then it just cuts to him doing it. And he's like, going down this thing. And he tries to jump over like three buses. And he just hits the first. And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then it just cuts back to like them investigating the murder. So random. You can't not yeah. put that in though. They yeah. have to put it in. You cannot yeah. leave that. You, yeah. cannot, you cannot cut that out. Oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> it's uh, it's just what's, so. What's this called? <laughs> huh? What's this called? Who killed Jill Dando? Who killed Jill Dando? I gotta watch this. Yeah. That's and a the good guy was just like, oh fuck, and he just smashed into it. <laughs> uh. And then he he got convicted for the murder, and then released eight years later because the evidence was shown to be like fucking a bit shoddy like yeah so now uh, no one has been done for it but everyone's kind of like ah, what happens when you released like that does he get money or anything for being for being wrongly convicted no you get nothing yeah f- yeah There's a, so. that guy recently got like 12 years of, like such yeah. a long thing for murdering someone he just didn't Jesus. do it and they were just like sorry you don't get any money i don't think so well this is the thing well, there was at least a big he, court case right maybe he did get some money. i guess you could sue you might have to sue though it probably might not be automatic yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that was the whole thing with. Them. Oh no, that was it. That was the big controversy. They billed him. Right. He got billed for like I can't remember what it was because it was like the status of him changing from prisoner to citizen then meant he owed money for something. Right. So Legal taxes, fees or something. Or yeah. Right. Like, yeah, it was something wow. like that. So he came out and he's like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, well, that's you put like, me in prison. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I ain't paying you nothing. That's the system just trying to fuck him one more time because yeah. they they're like they made he made them look like clowns. Like yeah. But this is the whole thing about I don't know if you watched um making a murderer when it came out. Was that the Stephen Avery? Is it guy. worth watching? I heard it's, it's great. Yeah. Man. It's amazing. Yeah. But the one you, who like pretends to be the lost kid. No, this guy was like accused of killing like a female journalist. Oh, I didn't see this. One. Oh, who cares? Uh, yeah, who cares? <laughs> 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 what was she covering? <laughs> fucking uh, like a cooking shows <laughs> or uh, I don't know. Some guy Whatever misogynistic <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> uh, stereotypes there is. But he his whole thing was that he got like uh, falsely convicted for murder. A wrongly convicted for murder and he did 10 years in prison. Yeah. And then he came out because it was discovered that, that he was wrongly convicted. So then he took out a case against the the judicial system there when I think it was in um, uh, Illinois or something. And uh, and then so he came out and he took out this massive lawsuit against them. Yeah. And then in the middle of that I think then the state of Illinois were like do you want to just frame him for murder again? <laughs> <laughs> and they framed him for murder and now he's and then they sent him back to prison and now he's in prison for life and that's what the whole show is about Holy it's amazing shit. but they know he was framed well the show makes a pretty strong case for him yeah. being framed the first time the first time he went to prison he didn't do it yeah and he spent like 10 I mean, years in that, prison that might be a fair way to do it being like what? you got convicted falsely but you can now do that crime yeah that's double jeopardy do you know what I mean yeah, so he's like he's got a get a he can kill one person now because he's, he's already done the time. The time. He that's retroactively yeah. did that, that is a law, isn't it? Double jeopardy. There's a whole film about that. Really? Well, yeah. You get to do the crime. Yeah, that's 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 what the film's about. It's like a couple, I think, and then someone fakes their own death and someone yeah. goes to prison for it, and then he gets out and he gets to kill the person. I haven't. I tr- I watched it a very long time ago, but yeah, that's what double jeopardy is. But they're right. like going to the police, like he's just killed someone. They're like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. He yeah, he's he like, well, he was supposed to be before. dead. Yeah, he's done his time. It yeah. doesn't matter which order it happens. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Because, um, but yeah, that was literally like the whole thing was that 
they were just like, oh, he's going to rape us financially. Yeah. Because he was looking for like a hundred. He's going to pull insane. down the state he's got, of Illinois. <laughs> yeah, and fucking rape us God, and then kill us. Because surely you can set like... Sure, you could settle for like ten million or something. Yeah, and just like like that would be cheaper than. Or just like give him his salary someone. of yeah, what he would likely earn. Because to to yeah. incarcerate someone is fucking expensive too. Yeah. Yeah, and then the heat they've gotten from the TV show or whatever. But yeah. um, it apparently it's forty k a year per prisoner. Is that all? Oh, I thought. It was but that's that. not including. Max. Uh, yeah, it's Max like different it's like, things. Yeah, you, you have like, to employ all the staff and stuff as well. Those bastards. Yeah, I've always thought about um, it would be cool to go to prison just for like a year. Yes, yeah. a TV. Is it, <laughs> have you ever seen that, that show? Yeah. What? The where they go in, uh, ninety day. What do they call it? Stay for ninety day or something? Where they like people would just go into prison for yeah. ninety days. I, I like the show Scared Straight. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. I thought it was about. Uh, gay conversion therapy oh yeah yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> but actually it's just about not going to prison how do you think you would switch <laughs> and i was like, like wait this show of... i was like there's no way this is a show on yeah. Yeah. TV. and sending <laughs> sending a possible gay person to prison to make them straight this is the worst that's idea the way ever. no that's like you send them to the candy store yeah to not get diabetes exactly <laughs> like, yeah it'd be the worst because these big tough men i have to shower with every day oh, yeah no. <laughs> but then they but that's the show where they send like kids to prison right mm. yeah but that's they're, a, they're like way. don't do drugs yeah you'll like be like me because yeah. this, this 90 day one they the prisoners don't know that they're this is part of a oh. thing so the first oh. season is great because yeah. no one knows it but then the later seasons the prisoners have heard about the show right so they start accusing people and stuff oh, so it's like they're funny, like i yeah. think he's in there yeah, yeah but it's great the first couple of seasons are great right okay because um, like yeah there's some people who think that they're just gonna like that, that they're gonna you know just fucking thrive in there and they just immediately I just have to they're like I have to leave I have to yeah. get out of here but wh- why do you want to go to prison for a year Ooh. um just to see like if I could survive it yeah and then uh and then also just cause like I think well not for you what you're gonna be convicted for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I wouldn't last long now but uh just to like I like the idea of like experience and everything, and I like, know what you mean. Yeah. Like, but I also like the idea of like finding out what it feels like to take another man's life. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, but like right. not like just some random person. I mean, like just I don't know. You Your fight. father, my father, yeah. But like someone with a vendetta. Someone like you come across some guy and he's like, he's. I know he's like raping someone. Oh, you want like to kill someone heroically, Heroically, but there's a part of you that actually just wanted to. uh, But there's a there's a terrorist attack or something. Yeah. on London Bridge. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you run over and you tackle him, and there's like yeah. a fight for the gun. I've thought about this. <laughs> oh, everyone's. Thought and then you're like, oh that, god! And then you shoot him. That's yeah, like yeah. that thing in The Departed, where they're <laughs> yeah. like, everyone's a policeman just so they can shoot someone. Yeah, they I want to know, know, know what it feels like. Feeling. Fucking yeah. take, see the life leave yeah. a man's eyes. You know, oh, you're a wrongin. I like. I it. am a wrongin. <laughs> I have <laughs> that <laughs> fantasy about people who just yell at me from a bike. <laughs> right, you just go over and knock them off their bike. Yeah, call me a bold cunt. Yeah. I do have that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I But you want the full experience of life. So you want to be like yeah. get to the top of the most Murderer. adored man in society, then have the biggest fall. You want to circumcise a baby, you want to suck its penis. <laughs> yeah, I want to do become a rabbi. <laughs> yeah. You know? But yeah, no, I, I just I, I want it when I when I'm on my deathbed, I want to be like I've done it all. Yeah. You See, know, women, yeah, yeah, yeah. they get they cuz a woman they could kill someone and then also give birth and they feel like they've gone full circle. Oh, I've taken a life to give a life. Yeah, to give yeah, a life. Okay. I've yeah. left credit neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. we can't, we have to figure out how to well, clone. But if you have a kid with your sperm, you can. Yeah, like, I guess. Like, gave, you, I want to feel the it raw come materials out, yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 raw yeah. materials. Yeah, the baby batter. Yeah. Where do you guys stand on abortion? All right, guys. That's the end of the public episode. If you would like to keep listening, um, jump on over to the patreon the link is in the show notes um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and um see you next week